Global trade is a buzz with a headline that could change everything. The shipping industry, already the backbone of the world economy, is now facing a potential turning point that could reshape how goods move across continents. In Central America, a $50 billion Chinese-backed canal in Nicaragua is being proposed, a direct rival to the legendary Panama Canal. This ambitious project aims to carve a new waterway through the heart of the region, promising to transform the landscape of international trade. The announcement sent shockwaves through boardrooms from Shanghai to Washington. Shipping magnates, investors, and government officials are scrambling to assess the impact of this bold move. The stakes? Nothing less than the future of global shipping. Billions of dollars and the flow of goods for generations to come hang in the balance. For a century, the Panama Canal has been the world's vital shortcut, the artery of commerce. It has connected the Atlantic and Pacific, saving ships weeks of travel and fueling economic growth worldwide. Now a new contender emerges, the Nicaragua Canal, led by a mysterious Hong Kong company, promising a wider, deeper and longer passage for the world's largest ships. If completed, it could handle vessels too massive for the Panama Canal, opening new possibilities for global logistics. This project could shift economic power, alter alliances, and spark new tensions. The world's superpowers are watching closely, aware that the balance of influence in the Americas could be at stake. Chinese billionaire Wang Jing's HKND Group has a 50-year concession from Nicaragua's government. This long-term deal gives them unprecedented control over a strategic corridor. The move signals China's growing influence in America's backyard. It's a bold geopolitical maneuver, raising eyebrows in Washington and beyond. It's more than concrete and steel. It's a bold statement on the world stage. The canal represents ambition, vision, and the willingness to challenge the status quo. Nicaraguan President Daniel Ortega claims the canal will lift his nation out of poverty, promising jobs and growth. For many, it's a beacon of hope in a country long plagued by economic hardship. But questions linger. Can it be built? What's the cost to the environment and local communities? The proposed route cuts through sensitive ecosystems and indigenous lands, sparking fierce debate. Supporters see prosperity, critics see disaster. The nation is split, with passionate voices on both sides of the argument. The world is divided, watching to see if this audacious plan becomes reality. Every development is scrutinized by the global media, and every setback fuels more speculation. Behind the grand ceremonies and promises uncertainty reigns, the challenges are immense from engineering hurdles to political risks. The project is a gamble with global consequences, billions are at stake and the outcome is anything but certain. Is this the dawn of a new era in maritime trade or a geopolitical power play with unforeseen fallout? The answer could reshape the world's shipping map for decades. The world holds its breath. Every nation, every shipping company, every investor is waiting to see what happens next. This is a story of power, money, and ambition. It's about dreams as vast as the oceans themselves and the risks people will take to realize them. Heroes and villains, winners and losers, all centered on one idea, carving a new path between two oceans. The implications are staggering, and the ripple effects could be felt worldwide. The story is just beginning. The first chapter has been written, but the ending is far from certain, and the world is watching. The next move could change everything. For over a hundred years, the Panama Canal has reigned as the king of maritime shortcuts, shaping the very flow of global commerce. Since 1914, it stood as a marvel of engineering, connecting the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, and saving ships weeks of perilous travel around South America's Cape Horn. The canal transformed shipping forever, making trade not only faster and cheaper but also safer and more reliable for countless industries. It quickly became a symbol of American power and ingenuity, and a vital artery for the world economy, linking continents and cultures. Handling about 5% of global trade, the canal is essential for moving everything from cars and oil to electronics and food, touching nearly every aspect of modern life. The canal's tolls are a major income source for Panama, tying its economy and prosperity directly to the waterway's ongoing success. But the world of shipping is changing fast. Massive post-Panamax vessels, built to carry more cargo than ever, are simply too big for the canal's original locks. In response, Panama launched a massive expansion in 2016, building new locks to accommodate these bigger ships and keep the canal relevant. Yet, even these new locks can't handle the very largest supertankers and container ships, leaving some vessels to seek other routes. This limitation has opened the door for a potential rival, threatening Panama's long-held dominance. 
For decades an alternative route seemed like a distant fantasy, more rumor than reality. Now, with China's financial muscle and global ambitions, that dream is closer than ever to becoming a reality. The century-old dominance of Panama faces its greatest challenge yet, as new players enter the game. The world's shipping lanes may soon be redrawn. The stakes are enormous, and the competition is more intense than ever. The future of global trade truly hangs in the balance, with billions of dollars and countless jobs at stake. Panama's response is clear, innovate, adapt, and modernize, or risk being left behind in the new era of shipping. The canal's legacy is on the line, the race is on and the world is watching to see who will shape the next century of global trade. The Nicaragua Canal Project is breathtaking in scale. Spanning 173 miles across the heart of the country, it's a feat of engineering that would reshape the landscape and the nation's destiny. This new canal would be more than three times longer than Panama's, stretching across a much wider expanse and presenting even greater logistical challenges. The planned route slices through dense rainforests, traverses the vast Lake Nicaragua, the largest lake in Central America, and finally reaches the Pacific coast, connecting two great oceans. It's designed to accommodate the world's largest ships, including those too massive for the expanded Panama Canal, opening new possibilities for global shipping. The price tag is staggering, $50 billion, an almost unimaginable sum for one of the hemisphere's poorest nations, raising questions about funding and long-term impact. Led by China's HKND Group and billionaire Wang Jing, the project comes with a 50-year concession, with the possibility of extending it for another half-century. This would effectively put a critical global trade route in Chinese hands for up to a century shifting the balance of maritime power. The ambitious plan includes not just the canal, but also deep water ports on both coasts, a new international airport and expansive free trade zones, along with luxury resorts and vast economic development areas, a massive transformation aimed at propelling Nicaragua's economy into a new era. For China, this canal is a key part of the Belt and Road Initiative, expanding its influence and economic reach deep into the Americas. A Nicaraguan canal would give China a secure alternative route to the Atlantic, reducing its reliance on the US-controlled Panama Canal and reshaping global trade flows. The project is a bold geopolitical chess move, with implications that reach far beyond Nicaragua's borders. Many experts remain skeptical about its feasibility, environmental impact and economic benefits, but the sheer ambition of the plan is undeniable. The world watches closely as Nicaragua bets its future, its environment and its people on this colossal vision of progress and transformation. The stakes couldn't be higher, and the outcome will shape the region for generations to come. Proponents of the Nicaragua Canal promise prosperity. The government claims it will double GDP and create hundreds of thousands of jobs. For a nation mired in poverty, the canal is a beacon of hope. Officials envision a modern Nicaragua, a global trade hub. For shipping companies, the canal means bigger ships, faster transit, and lower costs. China stands to gain a strategic asset, securing trade routes and boosting its influence in Latin America. The project is a showcase for China's global ambitions. The U.S. watches warily, seeing both risks and potential benefits. A second canal could lower shipping costs and provide a backup route, but a Chinese-controlled waterway in Central America is a geopolitical game-changer. The canal's promise is matched by its complexity. Prosperity, power and politics are all in play. The world waits to see if the Golden Age will arrive. The Nicaragua Canal's promise comes with enormous risks. The route cuts through rainforests, wetlands and Lake Nicaragua, a vital freshwater source. Environmentalists warn of catastrophic damage, polluted water, destroyed ecosystems, and loss of unique wildlife. The human cost is immense. Up to 120,000 people could be displaced, many from indigenous communities. Protests have erupted, with locals fearing forced eviction and loss of livelihoods. Technical and financial hurdles loom large seismic risks, budget overruns, and doubts about demand. Experts question if the $50 billion investment can ever pay off. Geopolitical tensions add to the uncertainty, as the US and China vie for influence. Neighboring countries worry about environmental fallout. The project is a flashpoint for regional instability. The path to progress is fraught with peril. Every step forward brings new challenges. The price of ambition may be higher than anyone imagined. The Nicaragua Canal debate splits the nation and the world. Supporters led by President Ortega see it as the only way out of poverty jobs, investment and hope. They believe modern engineering can limit environmental harm and promise fair compensation for those displaced.
Panama's success is their model, for many the canal is a dream of a better life. Critics see a nightmare irreversible damage to Lake Nicaragua, destroyed rainforests and lost heritage. Scientists warn of ecological catastrophe, farmers and indigenous leaders protest, fearing loss of land and culture. They see the project as a sellout to foreign interests. For them, the canal threatens their future. The fight is for home, water, and survival. The Nicaraguan Canal proposal has ignited a fierce rivalry with Panama. For a century, Panama's canal has dominated shipping. Its 2016 expansion was a direct response to competition, allowing larger ships and sending a clear message, Panama is ready to compete. The expanded canal handles most of today's fleet, but Nicaragua's plan targets the megaships of tomorrow. The competition is about size, economics, and politics. A second canal could lower tolls but hurt both countries' revenues. Experts debate if there's enough traffic for two canals. The market may not support both, making this a high-stakes gamble. Panama downplays the threat but watches closely. The rivalry has spurred innovation and efficiency. Central America's shipping landscape is changing fast. The battle for global trade supremacy is on. The winner is still unknown. The stakes couldn't be higher. The dream of a Nicaraguan canal is centuries old. Spanish conquistadors and 19th century US leaders once favored Nicaragua over Panama. Politics, money and geology doomed earlier attempts. Clever lobbying and fears of Nicaraguan volcanoes tipped the scales to Panama. Now China's capital and strategic interests have revived the dream. China isn't seeking a single route, it's building a global network. But old challenges remain, political instability, fierce opposition and daunting engineering. Environmental concerns are more urgent than ever. China's involvement changes the equation but doesn't guarantee success. The echoes of past failures are a warning, the obstacles are immense, history may yet repeat itself. As of September 2025, the Nicaragua Canal's future is uncertain. The project is stalled, delays, financing woes and fierce opposition persist. HKND's financial troubles and lack of clear funding cast doubt on viability. Shipping companies are hesitant, sticking with Panama for now. Social and environmental protests keep the project in the spotlight. Legal challenges and public resistance create a climate of risk. The canal may test the limits of China's global ambitions. Will it reshape trade or become a cautionary tale? The world watches and waits. The final chapter is yet to be written.